yard in this next segment is not really a commercial yard, but it's what the owner Bob Childs calls the collection gone awry. It's over 100 AMC cars, mostly from the 60s on up, that they'd like to sell. And it's a lot of parts cars and a lot of parts as well. I'm Bob Childs. This is, I guess we call it Rambler Heaven. It's not really a business. It's just a hobby that got out of control. This is our Hercules. It's a cat backhoe. We use it to move things. So if you need parts, lift things and get it up so you can get to it. The Volkswagen bus sticking its nose out, we bought that in England when we were over there. And that's a 69. There's a 68 Ambassador we call Goldilocks. This is a uh, 69 Ambassador. Odometer says 7,000 miles. It's four doors. It runs and drives fine. It's probably going to find a new home. Back there is an Eagle. Back here in this pile is a 56 Jeep pickup. It's turquoise in white. It's got an AM radio. That means it's a fully loaded Jeep. The big barn we built probably in the 90s. And we put the better cars in there. And we usually keep them undercover. And then we end up piling junk on top of it which I apologize, it's still on it, but it's 50 by 100. The first car we got, oh. this is a 66 Marlin, 65 Marlin, and uh, it's turquoise and white. It's a 287, which Dad and I rebuilt and the transmission's rebuilt. Um, we went to all of our car shows in this car. We've probably got 30,000 miles just going to car shows on this car. Um, Updated brakes, um, bought it off a little old lady close by. I found it in 76, 77, and Dad went and brought it home. And then this thing here is why Dad started buying another Rambler, another Classic, another Ambassador, because the parts all interchanged. And this is what started it all right here. He had a big itch for a Marlin, which, uh, and then this grew from that. And Dad became on a one-man mission to save every Rambler in town. He had every junkyard in town, calling whenever they was going to crush one. And it just went on and on. And whenever he got another car, he'd say he'd get another spare for that car. Like he got a Concorde one day. And next thing I know, he's picking up Concords, which we'll see outside. Over here is an Eagle that's fully loaded. It runs and drives and is sellable. This is a local four-door bat, um, Matador, I think 72, 73. Uh, good running 304, but not much of a car, but it, was, it wasn't uh, rusted out. There's some 67 Marlin taillights. I wish we were more organized. This is a 69 Ambassador that we bought for an engine, just one of the engine. And um, we had come out there and found my mom redid the interior when we weren't looking. This car here was from Texas. It's got a great body on it. Typical southern car. The vinyl roof is rotted off, but a good solid car down underneath. That's why it's in here. It's a 73, 72 Matador. This is an Eagle that uh, friends of ours had, Eagle Station Wagon. Uh, this is what we call a Mafia car. It was a 69 Ambassador 390. Uh, the engine's in the engine stand. This you can't see, but this is a 65 Ambassador convertible. One of the better cars to rebuild here. My dad and a good friend of mine went up to uh, Wisconsin and bought this out of right out of an old um, drive-in theater. And they pulled it out of the tarp, they fired it up, and they drove it home. And we put it in this barn and. We've never got to it. One of them needs to be done. Uh, I do know that it drove in here. Uh, 67 Ambassador two-door hardtop. 64, 65 um, American station wagon. Uh, it's the same year, or, but it's a 440H two-door coupe, which is much more desirable. This is a smashed Eagle, which our neighbor had. All the drive line's been rebuilt and then they hit something with it. This is a another American two-door. This is a Florida car. Just has a little bit of surface rust. Dad's had the vinyl roof replaced. The interior's done. The engine's rebuilt. It's a 196 automatic. 63 classic or ambassador. I'm not 100% sure. Probably classic. But it must have been in pretty good shape because we didn't put it outside. This is a 64. Uh, 770H, H is the top of the line. 
and it's a two-door. This here is a rare car in the fact that it's a two-door post car and it's a 770. I'm going to go outside and kind of start backwards through the junkyard. Dad's got a hundred of them. Uh, about 25 in and 175 out. This is a 65 and 65 Marlin. It's got a 66 grill in it. It's probably worth as much as the car is. A Concord he bought, probably a six cylinder, a Volkswagen turbo diesel for me, and another Volkswagen diesel. Um, we've got a friend that can find old cars. He brought this up from Florida, and then his son drove it and hit a deer up here. Uh, this 65 Classic here was all rebuilt, 327 in it, and uh, sitting outside of the guy's shop, the body shop, and our mechanic shop, and he got smacked in the rear end. They totaled it out, and he never did anything with it. We took this old Matador station wagon, painted it silver and, and blue. It was already blue. And put in a real nice interior and sent it to my sister. In, da in Dallas, Texas. Well, that ended up becoming a very popular cowboy station wagon. Everybody said, oh, that's cowboy, Dallas cowboy colors. So it worked out. There's some Jeep front axles out there. And they're out of Wagoneers. This station wagon right here is a 63 classic. And the reason we picked it up is it's got the twin stick, which is three speeds on the floor and another stick next to it for the overdrive in and out, which is a rare option. The bad thing about it, it's got the aluminum six-cylinder, which probably doesn't run. But we picked that up off an old lady all about 10 miles from here. And there's a 73-74 Javelin uh, with a 360 in it, um, Javelin AMX. Uh, one day, Dad came home with three Metropolitans on a car trailer. This is the two. We call them Flintstone cars because you can usually stick your feet through the floors. and. Um, there's two right here, and there's a, a much better car deeper in the junkyard. And there's a 232 uh, four-door uh, Rebel, and that, I think, is a Matador with a six-cylinder in it. This is another 69. My dad was on a 69 kick for a while. There's a 71 PR card in purple Javelin, the interior is missing. This is a 360, 73, 72 Ambassador, two-door hardtop. I believe that Ambassador there, we bought it. It had a 401 in it, and the engine's been sold. Um, but I remember driving that home with a big cloud of smoke, and actually it didn't have brakes, so my dad followed me in his car with brakes and with the chain. He was my brakes and I was his go power. Matador station wagon with a six cylinder. This is a classic 65, 770 four door. Here's another 65, 66, pretty well picked over Marlin. But you got the rear quarters and you got the rear, the rear shape if you had one damaged. Um, this Turquoise uh, four-door ambassador over there, that's got a high compression 360 in it and a four-barrel and that's the engine that, that or the 401's the engine that all the AMX people want, all the hot rod guys need and want. We got a, what, a 60, 65 American, 64 American station wagon and here we have a 65 classic four-door. This is a Jeep F-170. This is something I would drag home. It's got a 12-cylinder in it. It's got six cylinders underneath the hood and another six-cylinder laying underneath this pile of tires somewhere. <laughs> but it's seen its better days working in the salt mines or something because it's rusted. I think it was Brooke Stevens did this. Yeah, they had something in the vintage truck with about the, sometime in the last year. I remember seeing these in vintage truck. This is a 65 Ambassador station wagon, had wood trim on it, 327 I believe. Here's about a 59 to 60 American. Um, it's glass is good. But as you can see, it's been here for a while. Show that tree growing. This is a 67 Ambassador two-door. Here's that Metropolitan I was telling you about. 
I believe there's another engine for a Metropolitan, and we have a running Metropolitan engine on the engine stand that's was built up for JVS or something. We've got another 63 station wagon, uh, V8 in it, 64, four-door, 63. This has a special option where the seat can go up and down mechanically on, the, I think, both sides, or at least the passenger side. It's a station wagon. 65 Ambassador. 63 or 64 with trees growing up through it. Classic station wagon. Hi, this is Bob Childs again. This is pretty much a summary. This is my dad's one mission to save all the ramblers he could in the world from 76 on. Um, we'd like to sell as many as the outside cars and as many in the barn as possible and get left with two or three of the better ones. But anyway, if you want to, if you want to get a hold of us, our phone numbers are 937-828-828. 1727 and the phone number at this place is 828-1221 and we'll get it on the internet so you can have a see how many parts we have and we got them stuffed in every nook and cranny. A lot of these cars got parts stuffed in them. This is a collection gone awry but maybe we can get it thinned out. Plenty of parts to take off, plenty of parts already off. Dad bought a lot of parts from J.C. Whitney before they quit handling them, so he's got them stuffed all over. A lot of new parts uh, up in attics, and I'm still finding them as where we put them. But, uh, and I remember we go to car shows and buy Marlin uh, ornaments and real nice stuff, NOS stuff. We go to auctions and buy dealers that went out of business and buy their parts. But this is a pile of, or they're setting off the ground, but it's mainly AMC engines. I think there's one Ford 312 in there out of a Thunderbird, but 304s, 360s, 258s, 232s, flatheads, all AMC. We've got rebuilt engines sitting inside the barn up in the attic. We've got transmissions on a rack in there. About half of them been rebuilt. This garage is just packed full of parts. There's two attics in it, and it's all AMC stuff. If we can help you out, get back with us.